two. Hello, I am Daniel. And I'm Alan. And we are here to talk to you about identity gateways. We've spoken about a lot of things today. We have authentication. Federation. Authorization. Uh, workflow. Self-service. And others. <laughs> yeah, many, many other things. And now we're going to talk to you about identity gateways, which as I've often said to you, Alan, is kind of the Swiss Army knife of identity, the mustard of identity, the thing you spread across the enterprise yeah, to connect all your resources into your identity platform. Yes. So let's let's talk about it. What what is an identity gateway? What is the identity gateway? And, well, and, and do tell our cinematographer when you're moving towards the other part. Of the I will module. do that. <laughs> <laughs> so we've drawn some really nice pictures up here, and we've collected them and connected them using some nice straight lines and things, to sort of represent the the enterprise we start dealing with. Yes. The reality is that the enterprise isn't that pretty, and it's not all fits together nice and easy like that. Mm -hmm. The reality, and I'm now going to move a little bit off to my right, the reality is that out of the enterprise, we have lots of different things that have to be connected, mainframes that probably don't have anybody who knows how to use it anymore. Mm -hmm. We've got partner applications, web apps, all sorts of things that we need to be able to integrate into our identity system. Right. And there's no easy way to do it. Right. So, so, so basically, Daniel's smiling right now because he's able to get access to all the resources across the enterprise. But if he didn't have an identity gateway and that whole world was blocked out, Daniel wouldn't be smiling. Daniel would have a sad face, yeah. right? So the identity gateway is essentially the intelligent go-between. Yes. It's the intelligence that we put between the identity system and these applications or things that don't play well. Resources. Resources, mm -hmm. right? It, it, we can think of it as it's the translation. It's, it's the, the part where we put all of the intelligence to be able to work with these resources. Okay. So some examples of what the gateway does, for example, we, we, we have the mainframe that says do not touch. So I'm assuming people can't modify that mainframe in order to tie it into the identity gateway. Generally, identity generally not. Right. So a lot of the things that happen on mainframes is that they have different kind of licensing models with software. Mm -hmm. the, where you're not allowed to touch the software, only the mainframe vendor can. Right. So trying to put an agent or trying to put something into here to do single sign-on just can't be done. You're not allowed to touch the software. Right. Right. Same thing with partner apps. They're not yours. Mm -hmm. They're the partners, and they are not going to change how it works just for you. Right. Right. Um, APIs are another interesting piece, yep. right? Because APIs don't interact with a person. They interact with another machine. Mm -hmm. And in general, machines are pretty stupid. Mm -hmm. they, they don't, you, you can't tell them go and log in somewhere and then come back. They yes. either work or they fail. It's rather derogatory, but I understand. They, maybe not stupid, maybe they are challenged. <laughs> I don't know. Got it. So, one of the key things that you're hitting on, like when you talk about identity gateway hitting a mainframe, this concept's like password replay. Right. So it's it's passing the credentials into the app without actually having to modify the app and allowing it to authenticate through the gateway. When you talk about partner apps, it sounds like you're talking about the stuff we talked about earlier with Federation. Yeah. Is that tied to it? It, it could be, although this partner app may not know anything about Federation. Hmm. Right, so we can achieve something that looks like federation. Remember, you asked the question at that point about is your username and password being sent over? Yeah. Well, in this case, maybe it is. Yep. Right, because that's the only way that we have to connect to this app. Okay. And then API security? Similar kind of problem, right? So when we talk about API security, there's not a lot of intelligence at the actual device level in terms of being able to make complex decisions on how to handle a process. Right. It basically makes a request, it either gets a success or fail and handles that appropriately. So we can do a lot of that intelligence back here in the gateway. Okay. Right. Same thing when you were talking about the mainframe. The gateway can actually do all of the things that Daniel used to have to do in order to connect to the mainframe without Daniel actually knowing that it's happening. Right. So this could be doing that whole interaction on Daniel's behalf. Sounds, sounds important. It is, because now Daniel gets single sign-on with the mainframe, he can connect to the resources that he needs, yep. and he doesn't have to worry about how he actually authenticates or how he gets there. And you only have to deploy one gateway, potentially. In other words, all these different resources can just plug into this one thing? Absolutely. Okay, that's right? cool. You could deploy one, you could deploy several, it's totally up to you, depending on the architecture and how you want to do it. 
but it acts as that middleman. Very cool. I think I have a, a grasp on the identity gateway concept. So thank you, Alan, for your help there. My pleasure. Much obliged. Thank you for watching. Thank you. And cut.